Yo, what's up guys? It's your host, Hedger Shots here, back again with another video for you guys. Generally, when a manga is getting adapted into an anime, usually some parts will be cut out because it was either labeled too inappropriate or too gruesome to be shown on TV broadcast for younger audiences. So today I'll be going over the differences between the Naruto anime and manga, and comparing the two just to see how drastic the differences are. Of course, I won't mention everything that is different between the anime and manga, such as backgrounds or different speech dialogue, as that would be insane. So instead, I'll just point out to some of the most interesting things that the anime did differently compared it's no manga. Also, I'll be splitting this into multiple different parts, or else this video will probably be over three hours long. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. For starters, the introduction of the anime explained the events that occurred 12 years prior, and how someone called the Four Hokage sealed away the Nine Tails instead of a child called Naruto. While in the manga, it started off with Naruto painting on the Hokage's faces. Speaking of which, in the anime, we see a couple of ninja chasing around Naruto after he painted on the Hokage's faces, and shortly after, it was caught by Yuruka. While compared to the manga, this was completely different, as when Naruto was painting on the Hokage's face, Pieces, we see a bunch of people in the background, presumably ninjas, shouting at Naruto, and Aruko came by and scolded him. During the retest of the transformation jutsu, in the anime we were introduced to Sakura, who wouldn't make an official appearance until chapter 3, or episode 3 when Aruko was forming teams. Even characters such as Shikamaru Inokiba or Hinata wouldn't make their official appearance until all the way to chapter 34, or episode 20 in the anime, while in the manga were just a bunch of random background characters that we wouldn't get to see again after this scene. I originally was going to mention that Sasuke wouldn't make his official appearance until chapter 3 along with Sakura but he did make a snit appearance in a panel along with a Walmart version of Neji and the Osura path. In a manga when Naruto sneaked inside to steal a scroll of secrets, he was caught by a third Okage but he used his sexy jutsu to attempt to distract him. Which I guess apparently worked as Hiruzen was completely knocked out and his entire scene was cut out completely in the anime and only shown Naruto after he stole the scroll of secrets. In a manga we are shown a scene where a bunch of shinobi claimed they should have killed Naruto when they had the chance and basically say if any of them were to find them he should just kill him. Which one of the ninja looks to be Choji's father, while this scene was cut out completely in the anime. In a manga when Mizuki threw a giant shuriken in Aruka's back, Aruka just pulled it out and threw it away, while in the anime he threw it directly back toward him. In the anime, the third Okage told Naruto to redo his yearbook picture, Naruto used his sexy jutsu as a way to convince him, while this didn't happen in the manga. Speaking of the manga, Ibisu used his middle finger to push up his glasses, while this was censored in the anime and said had him push up his glasses with his index finger instead. When Naruto was training Konohamaru for him to learn the sexy jutsu, most of it in the manga was off screen, while in the anime, we were shown a little bit more as Konohamaru attempted to transform into a lady from a street, to both of them sneaking into an adult magazine section, to both of them sneaking into a changing room, which I presume is a hot spring into a ladies section. Which makes you wonder if it's common for ninja to transform into ladies to sneak inside of these sort of things. Makes you wonder if a certain author ever did this in pursuit of his quote unquote research. In episode 3, Shikamaru was talking to Naruto, while in the manga it was a random character as Shikamaru wouldn't make his first appearance until episode 20. We are introduced to characters such as Asuma and Kurunai who wouldn't make their official manga appearance until chapter 34. Speaking of Kurunai, she was wearing a red clothing while the rest of the shows she was wearing white clothing, which I presume it was a mistake by the anime staff. In the cover page of chapter 4, we see Naruto on a toad, Sasuke in a snake, and Sakura on a slug. Which makes you wonder, gee, did Kishimura really foreshadow that they will stand on top of their summits all the way to chapter 632? Almost 13 years later? In a manga when Kakashi handed them out papers for them to memorize, you can see Naruto complaining that everything he had read it was in kanji and later that night he was punching a stuffed pillow that will presumably be kakashi also fun fact kakashi was supposed to make his first manga appearance in the second chapter instead of the third chapter but the idea was scrapped after discussing it with his editor when sasuke attacked kakashi during the bell test the kunai and shuriken landed on kakashi's face and we could see blood squirting out of his body while in the anime before the attack landed on him immediately shift off screen and didn't see any blood spilling out when kakashi plays sakura under a genjutsu during the bell test we see sasuke all bloodied up with a few kunai around his body which compared to the manga which was heavily censored as Sasuke had more kunai impaled in his body with a twisted ankle and a missing arm. Which makes you wonder again, gee, did Kishimoto really foreshadow that Sasuke would be missing his left arm this entire time? In the manga, the memorial stone for the fallen shinobi during the third great shinobi war looked to be a regular gravestone while it was changed up and looked to be more captivating and presentable in the anime. That's it for this part of the video and I'll be covering the Zabuza arc soon. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.